All right, well, we're going to do another Lego set. <laughs> uh, I'll finish the pillow off um, most of the way and come back to it. Uh, although I've got, I've just been searching and cleaning up and stuff, and I've got quite a few other little sewing things to do. Um, but just, I've got to do lots of things, lots and lots of different things, and not going to happen. We'll keep, keep going with the Lego, just get all of these Lego sets out of the way. But today we're going to do another Star Wars one. Really kind of reluctant to get this one because it didn't seem that exciting. It was, seemed like the whole 4 plus thing was a little bit over the top. Like, look at that, this is one big piece for the wings. Like, it could be useful, but, um, like, I'm sure it'll be fine. But it's not as cool as some of the other ones I've had. Uh, I think I'm running out of Star Wars ones. I think they've got a couple, one, one, one more after this. Like one more that I can think of. There might be two. Um, oh, actually, there's there is another one, but there's one that I've got one that's from the past. In fact, I've got two from the past. So we'll have to do those as well. But then I've got a couple that aren't Star Wars. So if you're getting a bit tired of Star Wars sets, don't worry. Um, we'll find a way out of that little hole. Uh, let's have a look inside, and it's a book. Wow, where did that come from? And it's a giant, w look at that, it's, that's big, that's chunky. Uh, bag number two, I think we can I think we can do this whole thing in one night. I don't think we have to do two parts. Um, <laughs> look at this thing, it is amazing. Like, that is a very, very selective piece. I wonder how often that appears in anything else. Uh, those four-year-olds, they get the wildest things, don't they? So, what have we got? Bag number one and these things. Uh, bag number one makes the entire TIE Fighter, <laughs> and then bag number two is the leftover bit. Okay, which makes it, explains why it's quite small. Off camera, and... Well, it's supposed to be out of the sound of the camera, but it's not really happening. Uh, you do get some some pretty complicated technic pieces though for four plus. I mean, look at this. If you're a four year old, you're going to feel pretty chuffed when you get one of these. You're going to feel like an you know <laughs> like a big person now, um, and so you should. Those are complicated pieces. All right, so we've done the first step, which was to hold that in our hands and then to put the little red thing on. <laughs> and well, I guess you, you cannot you cannot joke about the first step because the first step is always this is the starting thing. It's not really a step. It's like you have to have something to show that this is the start. You can't have two pieces in one go. Um, so all all first steps of these things are just single pieces. So they do not deserve mocking, and they shall not get any. I've done this wrong though. Uh, it's got to go slightly there, but they've got nice little handles, so they're easy to remove. Uh, eh, eh, eh. All right, and then this one can go to there. Okay, next page. And what have we got on this thing? We have got some slightly darker grey pieces. <laughs> um, so far it's feeling pretty easy. Uh, where's the other one though? Oh, have I lost it? It's underneath there. Um, uh, there, there it is. Very good. Very, very good. And some red ones to go on there, but you can't see the thing. There's some very, very strange pieces here that I've never seen before. Um, so, I mean, that's the fun thing about the 4 plus ones, right, is <laughs> you get some wacky pieces. Um, that, I don't know if, well, the one piece that I can see right in front of me is, is going to be cool to play with. So this is, this is a standard piece. This is kind of complicated. This is good, right, it's teaching you that thing about, you know, overlapping the pieces properly and not doing the thing that I know a lot of young, younger uh, Lego users too, where they just pile it up like that, and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. So you've got to get in early and teach them that, no, 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 you don't do that. No, 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 stop, stop. Here you go. It's a TIE Fighter. That can, that can That's the best way to learn with a TIE Fighter. Uh, the whole school system has gone to the dogs now that we don't use TIE Fighters to teach things in classes. And what's next? Uh, well, actually, I'm doing the next move. So it's kind of it's kind of taking shape. It's very. Can you remember when it was lime lime green in the movies? I sure can. And we'll put that one there. Well, you won't, won't be able to see those. What was a very odd color to use, though, isn't it? It's not like a standard like it's not red, blue, or yellow. And it's, but it's not gray to match anything. It's just like well, you're never going to see this thing, but we're going to make it. I guess the point is, it does kind of look like the inside. 
of a TIE fighter, like, you know, it gives you the impression of like colored lights and stuff on their little control panels and bits and pieces. Uh, so I've done the right thing, haven't I? I have, I have done the right thing. And now we're up to this part, part number 11. Uh, where is the other piece? It is here. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, desk needs to clean. Fine, fine. Well, I stop. You can't. You probably can't see, but there's a whole pile of stuff, and this is piling up, and it's it's just it's just getting worse every day. Um, no end is in sight. And there we go. Oh, I like the little red things. They look kind of nice because they're like the they're tran they're transparent red ones. Uh, <laughs> they like like a redstone in, in um, that game with the with the with the crafting in it, whatever that's called. Right, and the next step is this thing so this is an interesting piece isn't it it looks like it's meant to go with something else this probably has some use in other sets so uh but i've never had one of these before so that's fun and it goes on the other side wrong side and then it goes down like that but then what's the point of the red things that are sticking out well i'm gonna find out aren't i i think i just hiccuped on the, on the camera so you get one of these. I've never had one of these either. I, I, I think I've had something that's kind of like a TIE fighter. Um, but I don't remember having it this style part. And that can go down and that can go down. So I still don't understand what the point of that thing was. It's got to have some use. And then those go there. And then those go there. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. And now we're going to just swap over and ignore that for the while. For a while. For the while and start doing um, the giant wing pieces. <laughs> this could come in handy for some, some like motorized Technic thing, I think. Like, that would be very easy to get that to spin around in circles. Uh, if you know the trick, of course. If you put like a little motor in there. And I had a motor just a while ago. Um, sitting, which reminds me, I have another video to do about motors. Um, which maybe we'll do. <laughs> but it's always like, oh, I've got this to do, I've got this to do, I've got this to do, so. I'll get there in the end um, because I won't be buying that many new Lego sets in the near future so I have to run out of these at some point right and then that's it surely it's going to say two times nope we're going to do another page okay and then we have to put this thing ah there we go there's the two times thing I knew it well it's not too hard it's pretty obvious so that one that one uh, I'm going to do it the wrong way. I'm just going to put these in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to put that one in the middle. Done it the wrong way. <laughs> oh no, no, I've done it the wrong way and I don't know, I don't have a brick separator. Uh, uh. Alright. Okay, that's what you get when you try and be smart about these things. Um, no, wait, what have I done? Oh, okay, okay. I, I had it right the first time. <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, these are really hard to get off. Man, well, there's an easy way, isn't there? Uh, well, I use a screwdriver. Okay, all right. Let's just start with the way you're supposed to do it and put this thing on first, like the instructions said. And then it becomes obvious that that goes that way around, and not the other way around, which is the way I had it in the first place, I think. So fine, whatever. And next, so two wings, and then it's pretty obvious, I think, how it goes together, because all that's left over. Uh, where did his head go? His head is over here. How angry are they? They are very angry. Extra, extra angry. Uh, <laughs> they're like, oh my goodness. That's a... <laughs> you, you'd have a very sore jaw. Sore jaw. <laughs> if you, like, grimaced that much the whole time you were flying. Um, probably they're not a very good pilot. Oh, wait, we've got these little red things. So where do these go? Let's turn the page and find out. So you can't shoot anything out of these ones. Because you don't want little kids going around shooting people with their with their TIE fighters. So slot that one slots into there, that one slots into there. And then we've got one little red thing and another little red thing. Um, and we're good to go. Look at that. <laughs> I can't actually open it. There we go. And they're going to sit in there with their little gun, which makes no sense because they're a TIE fighter. 
Is there any instance on the mo in a mo in a, in a Star Wars movie where you see that a Tie Fighter, oops, has? Uh, you can't really sit in there because it's actually a smooth piece, so you have to sit on the very front. I think they done it, did that on purpose. <laughs> uh, they're like, well, it's too fiddly to put this in. So if you're four years old, I uh, know oh you can put it in. They didn't quite go all the way. Uh, there we go. It fits in, and or she, and they're done. But if you've ever seen a Tie Fighter with a gun in any of the movies, I don't know if, if there is a, a, a documented case of that. Um, I mean, I'm sure they have something. Right. But why? But why? You see what happens when those Tie Fighters hit the ground. No one gets out of that. Um, except for like if you're actually. Um, a rebel, <laughs> in which case you can get out of you can get out of the crashed Tie Fighter. All right, what have we got next? We have this guy, and he has the not so he has a chill face and a not so chill face, but still nowhere near as angry as the other person. Um, and there's their thing. So these guys are kind of cool. Uh, you don't get these too much. I don't get these too much. They've kind of got a little helmet that makes them look like an alien xenomorph. Morph. Xenomorph. This is kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure I've had ones like this before, but I don't remember them having an actual separate visor. I remember it being like um, a marking on it instead. Wow, things do get fancy these days. Alright, and now we're going to put the gun in there, which is a silver gun for some reason. It's, it's, it's metallic colored. So that's the helmet doesn't stay on properly. I really do think that the quality of the gripping power of hats has dropped a lot in, in, in the recent years. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. Um, I should Google it tomorrow. So this is this part. <coughs> I just coughed again. Uh, and then this can go there, and then this can go there. Well, I've got over my cold. I'm pretty sure I can confidently say that like no more cold so that's good uh, then I don't feel so guilty walking around at the moment <laughs> guilt free days are ahead I look forward to them and next we have one of these oh I like I like these pieces uh, 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 I did in fact have the uh, Atlantis series one where they had lots of these things uh, to make Roman style columns. So here's a little. This looks like a very Star Warsy thing. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a, a an Atlantis series set at some point when I feel up to it. Um, a big one too, or a reasonably big one. That will be fun because I really like that set because I've done it before. Um, but I've got one that I've never opened, um, so <laughs> it would be fun to try and do it again. And there we go. In fact, I might have two ones that I haven't done, which doesn't make any sense because I only thought I bought like two of them. Uh, but I've apparently got four of them in total. So that's something. But anyway, there's no point talking about something you uh, I'm not even showing at the moment. But this is interesting because this is like, isn't this exactly the same kind of box they had in the last four plus one I did? I think so. There was one that had, well, there was that, there was the, there was the, the Toy Story 4 one. And I really want to do this other Toy Story 4 set, but I don't know where I put it. So <laughs> when it turns up, we can do that one. I'm looking forward to that one. So that's a little thing. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of... This is a cool little piece. Um, and printed. Nice printed pieces. So that's the best thing about this. But look, it's got the Death Star plans and everything kind of on it. So that that makes this set. So I was, I was like... Uh, I went and bought all these sets, and then I went back the next day. I think I mentioned this on the channel. Uh, and this was the set that I was like, I didn't buy the first time around. I'm like, uh, those wings look kind of like, you know, they're, they're huge. They're like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's like it's, it's, it's quite a cool thing. I think that's the biggest TIE fighter. If I've ever had any TIE fighters, this is by far the largest one. I probably have one of those little mini ones. But... Yeah, I definitely have TIE Fighter front pieces, but I think I just bought them, like, you know, just bought them as a random thing off um, New Zealand's version of eBay, uh, because I thought, what the heck, but I don't think I've actually got 
<laughs> the uh, I may I may have like I honestly can't remember anymore. It's all a mystery, but this is this is not too bad. This is not too bad. Like this is actually kind of cool. Like I mean, these th that piece there <laughs> makes me feel happy, and this is kind of cool. This is going to come in useful for things. Uh, and this giant weird little piece here. But I still don't understand this. Maybe that's oh, I know what that's for. That's where they store their guns when they're not using it. So if they crash on the ground into enemy territory. Uh, what have I done? <laughs> I pulled the roof off. Uh, if they crash into en enemy territory and there's like giant fireballs in there, they're like they have to get out really fast because the thing's going to explode. Uh, they just have to pop around the back uh, to find their <laughs> conveniently holstered gun behind the rear panel. Um, and they'll have ample time for that, of course, uh, to get their gun so that they can have at least something when they're in enemy territory. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. So thanks for watching and bye.